Good Wednesday morning, Capital. I'm Destiny. And I'm Alex. Today we have information on Golden Girls and the senior graduation party. KCHS TV starts now. So, hey, hey. we brought our drum and this is how we dance. No mistaking, we make our breaks. If you don't like our 808s, then leave us alone. Cause we don't need your policies. We have no apologies for being from you at the wild. Attention seniors, the 2016 graduation night celebration will be here before you know it. It'll take place May 23rd from 11 p.m. to May 24th at 5 a.m. at Wahoos and Pins Fun Zone. This will be an exclusive party only for Capitol High 2016 graduates. Price for t-shirt admission is $55. Parent volunteers will be taking payments and t-shirt orders every Wednesday and Friday until May 18th during lunch hour in the main foyer area. Shirts will be handed out at the end of April, beginning of May. Admission at the door the night of the party is $60. Cost to attend includes food, all Wahoos and Pins games and activities, and lots of awesome raffle prizes. This will be a fun and safe place to celebrate your graduation with friends and classmates. For the Golden Girls, headed to Texas the weekend of April 8th to compete in the MA Dance Nationals in Fort Worth after two days of competition, hard work, and travel. The dance team bonded together and left everything out on the floor, taking second place in both hip-hop and contemporary and coming back to Boise, Idaho with not one, not two, but a record-setting three national titles in kick, military, and prop as well as making it into the winner's circle and adding another year of winning national titles, making the Golden Girls dance team national title winners four years in a row. Congratulations, ladies. If you're interested in joining the Golden Girls dance team and becoming a part of a family that shows the most important aspect of capital, it's Eagle Pride, representing Capital High School by performing at football and basketball games in competitions around the state, as well as attending a national competition every year full of dancing, fun, and team bonding. Then head on over to tryouts next week, starting Monday, May 2nd, and ending May 6th, learning technique, combination, and putting it all together in order to be fully prepared. Monday and Wednesday are after school from 3.30 to 5.30. Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday will be in the morning from 6 to 7.15. Wednesday following tryouts, there will be a mandatory parent meeting starting at 5.30. Can't wait to see you in your moves there. And now to the weather. Good Wednesday morning, Capital. We have a partially we have partially cloudy skies this morning with temperatures currently at 50 degrees. Looking at the northwest satellite image, we can see partially cloudy skies over Boise. In the surrounding areas to the south and west of us, there are isolated showers that might move into our area by late afternoon or early evening. For Boise today, expect mostly cloudy skies with a chance of isolated showers this morning and an additional chance of widely scattered rain showers this afternoon with a chance of snow. That's right, snow in the higher elevations. Daytime highs will reach 62 degrees. Your future forecast indicates that clouds will clear a bit tomorrow and Friday, followed by another chance of showers on Saturday afternoon with light rain and snow in the mountains. Expect clear conditions for the end of the weekend and the first of next week, with daytime highs moving to the upper 70s. That's it for me. Back to the disc. The Boise Pride Project is running a campaign to remodel their building and add classroom space for kids, classes, and some other items that would allow them to donate more kids spikes throughout the year. Kids can gain pledges from parents, grandparents, family, friends, or anyone else to pledge a certain amount per mile as they ride. Hopefully they can initiate, or hopefully our initiative will get more kids to ride to school, to the store with their mom and dad, or just experience just how much fun riding a bicycle around the neighborhood can be. The Boise Bike Project plans to be hosting the Bikeathon starting May 1st and will go through the month holding the award on June 3rd at Julia Davis Park. Get out there and join your community. The Idaho Food Bank is doing picnic at the park and is looking to hire the summer to help with this program. Want to help feed students during the summer at picnics around Boise? This may be the job opportunity for you. Construction begins on the Freedom Tower of the New York Trade Center in New York City in 2006. Our quote for the day is, when the sun hides, let your smile shine. <laughs> 